we can use the .NET and ActiveX controls located on the .NET and ActiveX palette to manipulate common .NET or ActiveX controls such as rich text box picture box and date time picker we can add additional dotnet or activex controls to this palette for later use we can go to tools then import dotnet controls to palette and we can choose from these options or tools import activex controls to palette and we can then choose from amongst these and these direct boxes allow us to convert a set of .NET or ActiveX controls to custom controls and add them to the .NET and ActiveX palette. Creating and communicating with .NET objects requires the presence of and the installation of .NET Framework 4 or higher. National Instruments strongly recommends that we use .NET objects only in LabVIEW projects. So let's go and see a few of these. So uh, here we have a, a 3D curve Lorenz attractor using ActiveX. Next, we can use ActiveX, Excel, Microsoft Excel as a uh, ActiveX uh, client, and we can run macros uh, on it. So let's run a macro. So uh, the Excel opens up, and we can see the graph being shown which was plotted by data coming from a Excel a Excel micro a macro so let's go and see another example uh, don't save so in this example we will uh, send this data to Excel to plot so let's run and wait for Excel to appear so here is our Excel sheet with the data inserted into a sheet of it. it's the same data that was sent by this VI using ActiveX Excel control So let's not save these changes. Close Excel. Close the VI. And let's go and uh, now see ActiveX uh, uh, browser, which is uh, 
Internet Explorer. So let's uh, specify www.ni.com and then run and wait for the page to load. So let's allow the scripts to run. and the page title is loaded and the page itself is also loaded and we can scroll through it so we used uh, Internet Explorer as an ActiveX client and let's run our last example called the uh, Excel again with the uh, ActiveX uh, and send some data to it. So let's go to File, then let's select Blank Workbook. and our data is printed so don't save and let's close